Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR. And in our Zoom room uh, yesterday, we did a little bit about the master slide using it um, to create your templates. Now, I am really not f all that familiar with it, but I've been playing around. So I'll show you what I've learned so far. I think this can be actually a, a great kind of way to set up your own templates. Now, the templates that you buy from me or other PLR providers, depending on what they've done with the master slide, um, it's it's not going to work out so great, great unless they've actually set that up for you. And I haven't. So I've tried playing with my own templates in the master slides, the ones that are already done, and it's really confusing. So I'm not going to bother showing you that. But I will show you how to set up your own templates using the master slide. And it's pretty cool and can actually really work well. So I've changed my mind a little bit <laughs> since yesterday, but it's still fairly new to me. So just bear with me if this gets a bit confusing. Okay, so I just have a new presentation open and I've changed my uh, format to 8.5 by 11. Now what I'm gonna do is go to view up here and go to slide master over here so this brings you to this and these are all the different layouts that they have set up for you now the first slide is called the parent slide or the mother slide so here is where you want to put stuff that you want throughout your whole template okay so what I'm gonna do here is come up to colors and I'm just going to click on this one, custom color. Now they have all these office ones, so you could use those as well, right? So I like these colors. I'm going to use that. So I'll click on that. And now because I'm on the first slide, the mother slide, that those colors will apply to every slide after and each one I create. Fonts, it's the same thing. So I have some custom font sets set up here. I'm going to use the one that has the Magnolia script and Dubai light. And here they have a whole bunch or you could actually come down here and customize your fonts yourself using the fonts that you would like. So you can come in and do the heading font, set that up with say that and then the body font you want this one and just name it down here and then save it and it will show up in your fonts, custom fonts here. So I'm just going to use this, okay? Now, effects, you could set that up or not, but I kind of like this glossy effect, so I'm going to put that in. Background style, what I'm going to do is go to Format Background, and it'll bring this up, and because I'm on the first slide, the mother slide, it will automatically do this for every slide okay so I'm choosing picture or texture fill and I'm going to insert a picture from a file and I'm going to use this one okay now normally it'll come up like this but I, I was playing around with this so I already, already had the transparency set now this is too bright as a background, it's just going to overshadow everything, so I'm going to just bring the transparency right down to that, okay? So now you'll see it's actually on every slide, okay? Okay, so I'm good with this, or maybe I want I want to center the text, and I think I'm just right clicking on the text here to bring this menu up and then I'm going to bring that down to 36 and I'm just going to click on this overall and make this 16 looks good to me okay and I think on every slide I'm going to want say a background for the title so what I'm going to do is come over and go to Insert, Shape, 
and I'll choose the rounded rectangle and I'm just going to drag this out. Now see up here when you go to shape format all this comes up and all these colors are in the color scheme that you chose so they all kind of go together right so you don't have to worry about choosing colors and stuff uh, they're all there and I'll show you what else you can do with that after so I'm going to choose this as a background and I'm going to come over and send it you're in shape format here I'm going to send it to the back okay now what I want to do here before I go too much further is I want to set my guide so I, I know where I can stay within so it's not running over all right so what you want to do is come up here and go to view and even though guide is checked here it's not showing up okay so just unclick it and then click it again and you'll get the center guide showing up so to set these I'm gonna put 0.25 on each side of uh, this so I'm gonna hover over this until I get those two arrows up there and I'll hold down the control key drag it to the right until it's at 3.75 because I have an eight and a half by eleven uh, template and do the same for the left hold down the control key drag it over to 3.75 you'll see the numbers up there and then release it and I'm going to come down to the middle hold down control drag it up to 5 do the same for the bottom hold down the control key drag it down to the bottom to 5 okay so now I know I need to stay within these guidelines when I'm creating anything in my template right now I'm gonna wanna bring the rectangle and the text up a bit I find it too far down okay and I have my selection pane already uh, showing up here so I'm gonna click on the rectangle okay I want the rectangle and title placeholder so I'm just gonna hold down the shift key and click on that oh sorry gotta click on control and then I'll choose both of them and I'm just gonna move it up closer to the top there there and I'm gonna take I'll see that I find the text too too big it's gonna get in the way of selecting things I'm just gonna move that back into place here and you can use your up and down arrow keys to place it more precisely if you like I'm just gonna right click on it and center okay and here I'm gonna to want to bring this up so it's closer to there okay so that's your master so it's got your colors your text your whatever right there it's perfect so this is the slide that's gonna be your title page basically so see how this shows up here same as up here so now I want to format that so when I create a new page all this is gonna fit okay and I'm gonna right click on that make this 36 and then okay that's way too slow okay I'm gonna bring that up there because that's where I want my text to be and then I'm gonna format this box bring it up here and just pull it out to the edges because that's the room I have now down here you'll see these three little boxes and this is a footer which we very rarely use in uh, low content publishing so to get rid of that so it's not distracting you you can go to home or no go to slide master 
go back to slide master up here because that's where you are already and just click on footer see how it's clicked here just unclick it and that'll get rid of the footer for you so you're not worried about it okay so so far that's good that looks good to me so I'm gonna come up here I'm on slide master and you can come over here and close the master view and this is what shows up all right so you can click in here and start doing your thing right and you can add stuff in here you know and then you can just add things inside here whatever you want to do with it now what I'm going to do is insert another page and it I'll, it'll show you what comes up okay so I go up to insert new slide and these are the slides you have that you can choose from all right so what I'm going this is a title slide this is title and content so for the title slide here what you would do is probably put in uh, you know whatever you like like this page belong this journal belongs to what normally you would put on a title slide so you can format it for that now I like this slide so I'm gonna put this slide in. I'm gonna insert that and then I'm gonna click in here and put this is my second page so whatever that is and then down here you'll see right it says here you can click to add text here you can add anything so I'm gonna add a table in and I'm gonna put one column with about I don't know 15 rows okay and just click on it and see how it brings up the table with your colors in it right so then you just edit it the way you normally would so I want to add more rows And then over here, I don't know, let's insert a chart. I don't usually use charts, but they're kind of cool. Okay, I like that one. And see how the colors are? It brings up your colors that, that uh, you've chosen for this. And then you can actually put in all sorts of information here. I'm just going to close that out. Okay, now... I find this like it's too far away from here and that's where it starts but instead of editing it on the page like manually editing it editing it I'm gonna go back to the slide master so go up to view go to slide master that'll bring all this back up okay and and when I click on that you can see here it says to content layout used by slide number two so it will tell you where you're using these lays layouts like none of the, these have no slides if I go back up here this is used by one slide that's my title page right this isn't used by any yet so this one is the one I want to edit okay so here I'm just gonna come over to this slide and I'm gonna pull it up because I want it closer to the top Then I'm gonna pull that one up as well alright and here I'm gonna get again I'm gonna come up here and click on footers I'm in slide master mode here so click on footers so they're gone and then I could pull this down as well because I want it to be close to my margins right okay so now I'm gonna come back up here and I'm going to close the master view you can also close out of here as well by going to view and just going back to normal if you like alright now see this didn't automatically change and I was like oh no I did something wrong but what you can do is come over here and right click on this and go to reset slide see that there it says reset slide when I do that look what happens see it implements the changes that are in the master slide for that page so but if I ha and you can do that if you've actually 
changed it manually and then forgot, um, you can just click right click on the left pane and it will change that for you. All right. Now where this might come in handy for your own slides is like I really don't like the uh, the black text on this background here. I find it doesn't really stand out or pop. So now imagine you have a plan or a journal that has you've done a hundred pages and now you're like oh I really don't like the text color. So you'd have to go in and manually change each and every one and that's a lot of work if you've done a hundred pages. So and I've done it. I've changed hundreds of pages uh, just like that. So with this all I would do is again go back to view go to the slide master now because I have this on the mother page right if I change anything on here it will change every slide in here so what I want to do is change this to white so I'm gonna just come over the text and I'm going to right click on that and I'm gonna change the color to white and you can change it to any color you like right and see how the theme colors are here so you have you can actually use any color you like but these are all the theme colors uh, that go with your theme so you already have them all matched up if you want like a lighter color darker one so I want it white so I'm just gonna click on white okay and now when we go back I'm gonna close the slide master view it has changed it on every page that has my title on that background right so awesome I really like that and pretty much that's all I've got so far I hope this helps you out if you decide you want to use the slide master I'm pretty sure there's probably lots more you can do but for now that's all my brain can take so <laughs> I'm gonna be done and if you have any comments or you know of a better way or an easier way to do this type of stuff in the slide master if you're a master of the slide master please get in touch with me I would love for you to show us how you use it okay so talk to you soon and thanks for listening